The United Nations General Assembly was held in New York last month and during the UNJGA meeting, leaders from around the world were given a last chance to hash out the pressing global action that is needed. But for the son of the President of Equatorial Guinea, it was time to go around and flaunt his luxurious lifestyle where at least about 70% of the country's population lives on less than $2 a day. Tedoro Nguma Obiang, who is the vice president of the oil-rich nation, has been a subject to Western sanctions or corruption for the very long, for the longest of times. And his ultra-luxurious lifestyle, Obiang has now landed himself in another controversy. This after he stayed in a, believe it or not, a $75,000 per night penthouse, where he had flown to New York to call for more financial aid for his country. Obiang, who goes by the name Teddy, travelled in a private jet to the States and stayed in one of the world's most opulent hotels. The hotel's two-floor penthouse has five bedrooms and four fireplaces, six bathrooms and a living room that can be converted into a ballroom and also a rooftop terrace overlooking the Central Park. Now, the visuals and photographs that have been shared by the Vice President on his social media account shows him strolling around the suite and admiring the view in a light blue suit wearing a pretty large chunky watch in his hand. However, during his United Nations address on the 21st of September, the Vice President, in fact, urged the intergovernmental organization to give Africa priority, attention and support the nation by providing full developmental funding. Obiang's father, who is also the current President of Equatorial Guinea, came to power in a bloody coup in 1979. Now, many of his family members have positions in government, while political opponents have been tortured and they've disappeared from the country. Now, Obiang is expected to succeed his father as the president. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report from the building where the Equatorial Guinea's vice president had stayed during his visit to the UNGA. Take a look. The son of Equatorial Guinea's dictator, who also happens to be the country's vice president, stayed at one of the most exclusive hotels in Manhattan's Upper East Side neighborhood last month when he was in New York to address the United Nations General Assembly. And while he called on world leaders to provide more aid and pay more attention to Africa, he also documented his trip on his Instagram page, sharing with his 156,000 followers videos of his penthouse suite here at the mark. This caused many on Instagram to tell him to go back home where 70% of the country's population is languishing in poverty, living on under $2 a day, while more than half of the population don't have access to clean drinking water. Also back home, the vice president is caught up in scandals regarding corruption and alleged squandering of some $100 million of the country's wealth. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for Weon. Well, this one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.